What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time to bust some BS. It's time for What The Fitness. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. All right, this week we have a video from the Primal Bod and it's showing bananas. What do we require, absolutely require for survival? Protein and fat. How are those not ancestral foods? The original apple that has not been genetically engineered, you guys won't want to eat it. The only thing you can do with it is turn it into cider. It has been genetically engineered. The banana that you see in the supermarket, that Cavendish banana oh is a recent thing. We genetically engineered that plant to grow that banana. Traditional bananas are very woody and pulpy and you wouldn't want to eat them, but we've bred them to be sugar bombs. They are not natural. Oh, sugar bombs. Apples and bananas are actually berries. You know what they did with berries? They turned them into ethanol. They made them into alcohol. That's what we did. That's how we processed them. But we took them, we manipulated them to grow a lot of sugar, and now we grow them. The banana plant cannot reproduce on its own. They have to have a new plant every time. What is nature telling us when that plant cannot produce on its own? Okay, so this is like a truth and 50,000 lies. Yes, we require protein and fat. Most fats your body can make on its own. The essential fatty acids. By the way, lady, since most of these primals are you gotta have saturated fat, eat high saturated fat. Uh, your body can make saturated fat just fine. The only essential fats are essential fats, unsaturated fats, which you guys say that like saturated fat is actually better for you. So please explain to me like how this is a good point towards whatever point you're trying to make is. Uh, yes, we do require protein and I'm not an anti-meat person, shocker. My research was funded by the Egg Nutrition Center, National Dairy Council and the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. I'm a big fan of high quality animal protein for nutrition, but I'm not a big fan of absolute bull. And so she's making this really elaborate argument that since bananas you see today and apples you see today aren't what was around in ancestral times, like honestly, who gives a, how old did those people live? Oh wait, they died when they were like 30 or 40. This whole, if it's natural, it has to be better for you. I get into a rant on this. This is why it's important to have guidelines, but not rules. Because guidelines are helpful, but rules will make you do really dumb shit and say really dumb shit. So when you say, well, I just want to do things natural and it's a rule, now you start saying things like, well, don't have fruits and vegetables because they've been genetically modified. Yeah, we've been crossbreeding these things for not just centuries, millennia. That's just natural selection and natural selection can also occur naturally. I think people have this idea of like genetic modification of foods like some like scientist in a lab coat and big glasses like going in and taking a, a banana and like injecting it with some kind of, you know, extra chromosome that's gonna turn you into, like just stop it. Like you've, you've watched Doom too many times, okay? I love me some Doom, but that is not how that shit happens. They're just taking plants with certain characteristics they like and breeding more of them together so they get more of those characteristics. That's called natural selection. In this case, it's just us choosing the characteristics we want, like for example, bananas with less seeds that taste better, those sorts of things. When your rule is you gotta have something natural, lady, aren't you wearing clothes? Aren't you using a cell phone? So you think that beef you eat from cows has not been genetically modified? You don't think cows have been bred a certain way? Come on. As I like to say, if only we had human randomized control trials looking at eating fruits and vegetables and what happens to people's health. Oh wait, we've got hundreds of them. That show, overall, people who eat more fruits and vegetables are healthier, have lower rates of cardiovascular disease, have lower rates of mortality, have lower rates of cancer, and are more metabolically healthy and lower body weight than people who eat less of those foods. So the entire argument, let's say it's completely legitimate that these are, these are bred a certain way and it produces this and they're sugar bombs. Okay, if that's the case, when they feed these foods in research studies, people should get less healthy. But they don't, in fact, the opposite thing happens. That means your entire ridiculous, absurd argument is 
absurd. I mean, it's so hilarious to listen to them because they will try, and again, I'm a big fan of animal protein sources, but if there was the mountain of data showing fruits and vegetables are healthy for you, if they had that amount of data for meat, they'd have a wet dream over like how much data there is showing that it's healthy, but it doesn't exist, okay? Now, I'm not saying meat's unhealthy. I think meat has some very high quality nutrients in it and can be part of an overall healthy diet. But there is a ton of research literature that fruits and vegetables are healthy for you. And oh, by the way, welcome to 2023, where it's apples and bananas are making you sick. Oatmeal's making you sick. It's not the fact that the average American consumes around 3,500 calories a day and does less than 20 minutes of physical activity per day. Can't be that. Couldn't possibly be that. Like, how do, how do we get here? How do we get here where we're just literally ignoring what actually makes us sick and we're focusing on this dumb shit? Well, I know why. Because people don't like personal responsibility because it feels bad. If I only had some abstract thing out of my control, oh wait, genetically modified fruits, that's why I'm sick. The government lied to me. Like the amount of narcissism in this is unbelievable because you're basically saying, yeah, it's all this other stuff I can't control. I have no personal accountability. It couldn't be that I just couldn't stop shoveling food into my mouth. That couldn't possibly be it. Couldn't be that I never get up and exercise or move my body. No, it's the apples and bananas. Get the f on. Okay, I'm out before I have a heart attack.